Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play. Last episode ended in despair as I spent millions and millions, probably in the region of 200 million, on a VacTube railway line that could only transport passengers and mail when I wanted to do metal. But fear not, I am relatively experienced with Open TTD. And I have managed to fix the problem. The version of VacTube trains that we were using, the mod that we were using for this game, was something like 0.2 or something like that. It was definitely not a finished mod. They have now finished the mod. Um, or there's a new mod. Anyway, either way, there's a new version. And what I've done is I've moved to the new version. You can see here if I go into new GRF settings... We now have VacTrain set 1.0.1, which has got a load of really cool stuff. Now, I don't know if I need the vacuum vehicle wagon one now, whether that's redundant or not. No idea, but I've left it in there. But I've upgraded to the VacTrain set. Now, how did I do that? How do you change it in the middle? Well, I have to admit, I couldn't remember. I used to know. And I had to watch my own tutorial video to find out. And if you want to know how to change uh, mods in the middle of a game that's running, uh, go to my OpenTTD tutorial series, episode 23, Changing Game Saves That Are In Progress. And I stress it in that video, and I will stress it now, it will break your game. Sometimes. So always have a backup copy of your save. Save it somewhere different and then follow the instructions. I know in the instructions I say it, and I know I've just said it again, but I will say it. Make a copy. But we now have a new version of VacTube, and it actually looks a little bit better too. It looks a bit more tubey, and the track looks a little bit more defined. It looks a little bit more like maglev in the tube. The signals that we have with the Z-based graphics don't really work very well with it, but the stations and the especially the depot looks brand new as well. I like the way the, de the depot looks like a very sealed container. Very good. Um, and inside the depot we can do new vehicles, and we've got a lot more vehicles to choose from, and on top of that we've got new wagons to choose from. So, if we look here, we've got this cargo train. Um, it's got an atmospheric speed and a speed. So presumably these trains, can these trains connect to Maglev now? Can, can, can they just like... Can it join on? Hang on, the game's paused. Oh! Oh, that's good! So, MagTube... Oh, flip. Right, hang on a minute. Oh, VacTube construction. So, VacTube trains can travel on Maglev and presume... Track or... Oh, remove that, put it back. There we go. Okay, so that changes a lot in terms of... Oh, yeah, look! All the maglevs changed as well. Are the trains running okay on it? They are. Fantastic. Okay. Wow. I love this new pack. Anyway, let's crack on with what we need to do. So we need a new vehicle. Now, there's a number of new vehicles. There's the uh, the pod, which uh, may not attach to anything, apparently. That's an interesting thing. Uh, it can go up to 800 uh, kilometers an hour and fit... 25 pass uh, passengers. It says refitable. It's too small. We don't want it. Prototype may only attach to itself. Um, it says capacity passengers and refitable, but it doesn't say what it's refitable to. Um, this train's slower, but it gives us a list of things it's refitable to, and I'm guessing it can be hitched to other wagons. Looking at this, I'm not seeing... What is it we're picking up again? I've completely forgotten in all the excitement. Recyclables. We need to pick up recyclables, and I'm not seeing them in the list. Uh, this train here, similar situation. Uh, it's slower, but it fits more passengers. And this one over here doesn't really say anything. Uh, it's just called a trans cargo. It goes quite quick. And then this vac goes really fast. Okay, this vac that goes super quick. Let's train vehicle selection. Click on the vehicle. I don't think this vac train's going to connect to it, but we'll give it a go. So we'll buy that one, 
And then we've got powered passengers. So it's that can fit a passenger apparently. I don't I think these unit wagons might be a bit broken. Um but then this is male but can be refitable. Oh good. Um right? Ah, I don't know. Okay, so our train length. How long was our train uh, station length? Did I keep it at six? I think I did. Yes, six. Okay, so we're at three point seven at the minute. All okay, right, let's let's put a load of these universal cargo modules on then. Uh, that's five point nine apparently. Right. I, I don't know what the max speed of is. I have no idea if this is going to work. We're going to change this to scrap metal, refit it. Apparently that's done. Also, apparently I put some extra tracking I didn't want. So now if we give it some orders and tell it to go to here, and actually that wants to be a full load, and then zoom all the way down here and drop that off. And let's see if this works. Okay, so the train is leaving the station. It's relatively slow coming out the depot. Uh, it fits in the station. Uh, apparently it's empty at the moment, but it's picking up zero. Let's see, capacities. Apparently it has a, a large capacity of scrap metal. The in oh, it's recyclables. Oh, for flippity. Right, get back in there. Get back in. We're taking the recyclables to be turned into scrap metal. It's been a long day. It's actually been a long month, but we won't go down in that route. Okay. Recycle. There we are. We re I think we refit the train now. So let's have a look again. The train has... Right, recyclables. Right, we've already spent 22,000 on this train so far. Go again. Right, here we go. So the station has uh, quite a lot of recyclables at it. Um... It's got 2,000, but we're already full on recyclables. The VAC train's leaving. It's going 800, 750 kilometers. Turning those corners does slow it down quite a lot. Uh, going up those hills didn't. We just reached 2.2 kilometers an hour before we crashed into the station. Oh, and we're flying back. Oh, it really does weigh it down. Wow. Okay, so now we're loading up even more recyclables. I didn't even see how much it made. Come on, it's it's quite... So the weight of the cargo is slowing it down considerably. By the time it gets to its destination, it's only done 2,000 worth. Do we make any money? It is empty. I didn't, I didn't see any money being made. It has made money, apparently. Right, okay, hang on a minute. We're going to stop following the train and just have a close look. It should be here in a minute. And also, we're going to clone it when it does come. There it is. Right. Zero. Oh, there it is. 178,000. Wow. It shoots off. Right. Clone it. Book it. Two of them. So we've got two down here now. So they're going to have to wait until they get to this junction. Whoa. Okay, no waiting. It's gone. And the other train should be here in a minute. There it is. Love these trains. Wow. How are we looking here now? Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. We can retire every single truck. All all of these trucks. Manage list. Centre depot. Every single one of them. They're not making us money. They're costing us money. They're slow. They're inefficient. It's, it's 2,054 for crying out loud. We need some VAC trains. And we might actually need one more VAC train, but I think we're okay. It'd be good to just have one waiting to swap for the loading. Train 30 can't continue. Let's just check that. Yeah, it's just busy. The line's just busy. That's all right. Right, where's my VAC train gone? Where is it? There it is, 72%. The other one's already waiting. So that's good. One's waiting as the other one's about to go. We're at 16,000 population now. Well, hang on a minute. Did the town grow a little bit? Whoa, steady. 
Oh no, the town the town hasn't grown. Okay. Town is not growing. We require alcohol, food and fruit. Oh my goodness, it's all going terrible. There's so much going wrong. Goods are okay, mail's okay, passengers are okay, and building materials are okay. Everything else is terrible. But we've got a VAT train and it's amazing and they can share lines with other stuff. I mean, I don't know where it's gone. And the ratings for this one, only 27% were transported previously. Wow, that is a small amount. Well, we've got to do this for the other ones. Um, where's the other big one? The, um, uh, it is that one, isn't it? It's this one. This could be challenging. It's in the middle of the town. I'm thinking we just vac it over. I don't really want to have too many vac tubes going around because it's going to... Wow, how much would it cost to convert the entire network to vac tube? Let's find out. Uh, extra viewpoint. Top of the world. I don't think this is... This wouldn't work. Because there'd be trains in the way. But if you sent them all to the depot, then sold them all. Same as I did with the maglev. Right, bottom of the world. Oh, imagine a world of vac tubes. Right, uh, vac tube construction. Vac tube convert from here to here. Hold shift. 14 billion. There we go. We're o we're only we've got 1.6 billion in the bank, and it would cost 14.1 billion. It's not really within budget. Uh, I think is is what we would say there. Not really within budget. That's a pretty much an understatement. Uh, Fifty-six of the recyclable percent of the recyclables are getting transported there. Um, oh yes, we're over here. There goes another vac tube train. So in theory, we're doing. Oh yes, the amount of manufacturing uh, supplies and um, scrap metal has almost doubled now. Fantastic. Road vehicles are all in the depot here. Look at all those road vehicles. Gone. Don't need them. Um, which means presumably we're going to get a bit of a surplus of manufacturing supplies stacking up here. We're going to have to clone some of these trains. Oh, by the way, in the new version of this, I think... I can't remember what version it is. Um, what version am I running? Alt enter. 1.91. They've changed the way that the cloning works. So if you clone, um, if you clone the train, uh, it doesn't pop up a new window, which is better but different to how it was. Okay, let's get those going. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely improving the amount of recyclables coming through. That's going to th improve the amount of engineering supplies that we're making down here. and it, Which will improve the petrol situation. And it will also improve the food situation. In fact, we I think we're going to need some more food trains. So let's just clone a few of them. Might even be worth... Should we convert this food line? Because it is a dedicated food line. Convert it to maglev. The only problem is we'd have to get rid of all the food trains temporarily. Um, I do like this new mag line. We've got a load of trains waiting in the depot here. Uh, trains? They're not trains. Road vehicles. Um, okay, yeah, let's get the other town hooked up. I mean, there's bound to be a load. Yeah, 18% transported. Let's come out of this side of the town. So it's it's up here. In fact, if we go like this, we can leave the industry turned on really ideally we need to come out down one of these roads like this but that's not even is it so I can't I can't bring this up because there's a couple of bits that are down there I can bring it up to here that's not really long enough this is in the way that's in the, the town refuses to allow it 
Um, what's the biggest station length I can get in that gap? Three. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's filling up straight away now. Okay, uh, we need another one of those trains. Come back! Oh, there's one. Clone. I accidentally did two. That could close... You can run three on this network, as I've done it. You can't run more. Uh, what we'll have to do to run more is change this signal, which I'm not going to do right now because there's a train sat there. Like that. Oh uh, yes, the train's... Oh, there's an even newer one! Uh, it doesn't go as fast. Okay, never mind. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, oh my goodness, there's more trains! Wow! There's lots of real end-game content going on here. There we go. And what we can do is do that and do that. So now we can run as many Vactu trains down here as we like. Okay, so... There we go. Right, so... That didn't really work. What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? Town and what we'll do is we'll do a shuttle service. Platform length three. We'll put that in there. It, it just does pick up the recyclables, and then can I get this to turn flat? Oh my goodness! Should be able to get it to turn a corner here. And then also there. Okay, that works. Um, and then the plan. I, I don't have a plan. Because they need to go. They need to get somewhere over here and drop off. But it looks like we're going to be catching up. Oh, you know what? We're not going that way to drop off. We're going to come down. And then across, I think, into a new platform. There we go. Uh, we'll do that straight for a little bit so that we can get a depot on it. There we go. And then we'll turn that into a two track. After the depot. Yeah, that seems to work. And then... We'll go up this way. We'll come this way. We'll go over here and that way. Right, okay. Let's do that. So, we don't want any of that nonsense there. <laughs> go this way. And we'll come down. Little by little. There we go. Like I said previously, I don't know if it's actually required for the VAC trains to do these sort of steps. But I am. There we go. We're spending the millions again. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Right. So we want to cut across here. We want to be roughly at the same height that we were there, so... Like this. This vac tube uh, train is so much more important than anything else around here. Everything's just getting annihilated to deliver this. Um, deliberately want to go under this set. But I can't. So we're going to have to delete this. Move the depots. Put the land up. Didn't delete all the depots because it was transparent. Uh, tr not transparent? Translucent, I think is the words I was looking for. There we are. No bridge. Uh, just tunnels. Now, I believe there is a mod that you can get that will make bridges even faster for VacTube. I didn't really see the need. It's easy enough to work around. And to be honest, I don't know whether it, they are faster in this mod pack. I haven't checked. Let's have a look. 
Let's build one here. Um, no. No, they're really not any faster. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go diagonally up from here. You do diagonal construction by holding control. Looks like we've got a lot... Oh my goodness, we've got quite a lot of extra height there on the land. Okay, so we're going to have to pull this back. Drop it down. Wow, I got 16,000 income from that. It cost millions to put it up. Absolutely millions. Right, there we go. So let's do that. Oh, this was a bit of a bad idea, but I can't help it now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. True masses of mount. I don't know where all this land's coming from. I bet I bet Sipsco's um, providing it. It it does look like high quality dirt. Yay! Almost. I'm doing. I, I normally I count these, but I really. Um, no, I don't think it matters too much. It's got a little bit kinky at the top here, but that's okay. At least that matches up there. We're going to have so many trains on this VAC line going crazy, it's ridiculous. Okay, so that's connected up to there. Then we just got to connect these up. Which I don't know whether they're the same land height or not, but... Of course they're not. Okay. So we need to come down a little bit. Perfect. And then um, we'll do a diagonal from here. And we'll get that bit of land out of the way because it was just there. And we have the track in. We've gone down to 1.4 million with that. That must have been expensive. So we'll put the signals in one end. We'll put the signals in the other. And I'll hold control and drag them across. It's looking good. We've got a little station at each end where we can load and unload. And I think, yet yeah, we need a vac stop on this end, which I don't seem to be able to fit in anywhere. Because the local authority hate me. It's fine. Uh, we'll do a vac stop here before the station. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to clone one of these trains. We're not going to control clone because we've got different orders. And then we'll make them smaller. So take the bits out. 3.7, 4, 4. Uh, what's, what length? We're only platform length 3, so we need to take another one at 3.3. .3. Okay, that's the... Can we take the end off? No, we can't take the end off. Uh, let's get rid of the rest of the train. There we go. 2.9 million in returns. That's good. Delete all that. Brand new go to order. And we're going to zip down this line over here, over here, over here. And unload there. Where hopefully we'll get even more supplies coming through. Um, I did jest in the comments with somebody uh, a couple of weeks ago. that I said, he said, oh really you should, you should replace those trucks with some maglev. And I was like, no, 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 vac tube. I was joking at the time. I did not know that this was going to be the situation that we would be in. I just bought lots. Here we go. Right, so the first one's in. Presumably loading up. Yep, it's loading up. 74% already. 82. And presumably 100 next. As soon as there's some stuff. There we go, 100. It's all full up. And we go down. No problem at all. Let's just bring that up. We get up to 3 thousand kilometers an hour 3.6 thousand kilometers an hour on the way there and 4.1 zipping back on the way home uh i don't know if we're going to be able to get all these through the station in time i might be able to get a two lo um, two section loading station uh, but all of the road vehicles that are currently going here can now be sent to the road depot go home you're not needed anymore Right, now, let's see. Can I put a better station in? Probably not. 
Can I bribe the town and then let them put the better station in? Actually, before I do that, can I put lots of trees in and then put better stations in? Okay, so trees, 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 trees. Right. Now what do they think I am? Very poor. Brilliant. Bribe. Poor. Bribe. Medium. Bribe. Good. Brilliant. Okay. Delete the road, delete the house, delete that, and... Can I flatten that land? Can I add a second platform? Yes, I can. Right, can I delete all this? Yep, that VAC train is going absolutely crazy. Ooh, I didn't really want to let that VAC train... Uh, ooh. Let's let that one out, finish the junction... There we go. Because that's a terminus, that should do it. So we've got one in, and we should get a second one in. Oh, there's a 90 degree turn there. So we have to go down and like that. Okay, that's it. I fixed it. Okay, so we can have uh, two loading at once now. Which will do the job quite nicely. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. There's some trains that can't find a way to go, but I'm pretty sure it's just because it got stuck. Yeah, there we go. We've got two, two train loading now. Dual train loading, and... We can, we can shut down this station here. This one's going to end up with tons and tons of recyclables. Uh, road construction. Ah, where is it? Okay, let's, so let's make that invisible except turn on the stations and that. So take away that truck stop. And I think, did we leave the truck stop in here? We did. Take away that truck stop as well. Well, there we go, folks. It's a little bit of a longer episode today than I planned, but I had a few things to explain at the beginning of the episode. Um, and it looks like we're bringing extra stuff in now. We're not getting many road vehicles down here. Because I think we've only got the road vehicles from this little place. And that's it. So we've got a massive road network with no road vehicles on it. Um, and also we're bypassing this section here. Uh, so most of these trains we don't need anymore. So this train can go to depot. This train. Because these really slow maglev trains that only go a few hundred kilometers an hour. We don't need them anymore. Don't, don't need them at all. There we are. You can all go to depot. We've got three in the station there. We'll leave three on the line. Um, we can see over here we've got a trains dropping off. There's another one dropping off. They're only in the station. I mean, this bit here could be a dual station. I don't know what I'm playing at. This this definitely should be a dual station. I look. I've no idea why I didn't do it. I apologise. I definitely should have done. Let's get the signals on before it all goes terribly wrong. There we go. Also, that means we can get a depot nice and neatly in there as well. Oh, that's much better. Oh my goodness, they're going crazy. <laughs> Look at them going. Uh, I've lost it. There it is. Uh, let's follow this train. Oh, it's loading. And all of a sudden, after it's done, it's off. And it goes down the hill and it gets up to 105. 2000. Now we're going past 2000. Going across the way. 3000. Now 3000. It nearly hits 4000. It crashes into the end of the platform. Now we're hitting 4100 kilometers an hour as we zoom back, ready to pick up the goods again. And uh, we've got a small queue waiting off the trains. Well, that is seriously going to serve. Oh, 91% of the goods transported there. And looks like we've got a little bit of backlog of trains here as 87% is transported. Hopefully that will improve. Um, I want to know what sort of knock on expect. Oh my goodness, we're creating 1,400 tons of recyclables. <laughs> uh, not recyclables, manufacturing supplies. That is going to be a lot of manufacturing supplies. These trains aren't going to be able to keep up uh, if we're not careful. So we're going to clone that train a few times. Get a number of them coming through. And then I just realised we're going to have thousands of tonnes of scrap metal here. So we're going to have to get more road vehicle. Oh, we're not. We're going to maglev that up next time. Join me then. No, we're not going to ma not maglev. I meant vacu, but I, I still don't know whether we're definitely going to do that or not. Ooh, this fruit could be brought in by vacu. 
Are we just going to end up converting the whole thing to vac tube? I don't know. Uh, the town is still not growing, but we have fixed the food problem uh, to a point. We're getting there, and the petrol should be... The petrol is pretty much nearly there. Nearly. Um, and then we just got to work out why we've got no alcohol, or not enough alcohol. Uh, potentially bringing in more fruit will also solve that. But that's going to be all for now. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, if you liked the video and enjoyed it, please remember to, to hit that like button. Put a comment down there. Let me know what you think of this new vac tube stuff. Is it something that you might want to do? Um, do you wish that we'd done this earlier? And what do you think I should convert to vac tube next? There are things to think about. I'd like your thoughts and ideas. Please do put them down in the comment section. I do think I'm going to do a live stream of this sometime soon. So if you're not already following me on social media, get on there so that you can find out the information of when that is going to happen and follow me on Twitch as well so you know when I'm streaming. It's not always open TTD, but I do do the odd TTD live stream. So thanks for watching. Take care. And until I see you next time, goodbye.